Thank you for choosing the Gazebo Mosquito Mesh Kit. Before you begin attaching the parts to your gazebo, take a few minutes to sort your inventory. Lay all of the parts out on the ground or another flat surface. You'll note that most of the components are made of a flexible mesh material, so there are no wood parts to assemble. Make sure your mesh kit includes all the parts listed on page 4 of the assembly manual. Remember, we are always here to help. Contact us if you find a part that is damaged or missing. Take a moment to write down the carton ID stamp found on the mesh kit box. Record the first five digits of the ID stamp and the letter at the end on page 5 of your assembly manual. Step 2. Mark the center point of a short beam assembly, 59 and 3 16 inches from either side, then position a curtain track short so that one end is aligned with your mark. The bottom of the curtain track should sit tight to the top of the gusset, two inches up from the bottom of the beam assembly. Use pan screws to attach the curtain track to the short beam assembly. Now slide 14 curtain hangers into place in the channel on the curtain track short. The hangers won't turn if they're installed incorrectly. In the correct position, the hangers will slide and turn easily. Next, install a second curtain track short so that the end is tight to the first one and tight to the top of the gusset. Once again, attach it with five pan screws. Then repeat all of the steps to attach the curtain track shorts on the other short beam assembly. Step 3. Mark the center point of a beam assembly 68 inches from either side, then position a curtain track long so that one end is aligned with your mark. Make sure it's on top of the gusset, two inches up from the bottom of the beam assembly, then attach with five pan screws. Slide 18 curtain hangers into the channel of the curtain track long. Now install a curtain track long so that it's tight to the end of the other curtain track long. Attach it to the beam assembly with five pan screws. Now repeat all of the steps to install curtain tracks on the other beam assembly. Step 4. Place a curtain track gusset over the point where the two curtain tracks meet on a beam assembly. Attach it with two pan screws, then check to make sure the curtain hangers still move freely between the tracks. Now repeat to install three more curtain track gussets on the other beam assemblies. Step 5. If you find there is a gap between the end of the curtain track and the post assembly, insert a wood screw into the short beam assembly or beam assembly as needed. This prevents the curtain hangers from falling off the track. Step 6. Get a helper to hold a tie-back ribbon in place on the inside corner of a post about halfway up. Attach it with two pan screws. Repeat to install tie-back ribbons on all four posts. Step 7. Begin by unfolding the insect panels completely on a flat surface. You can make installation easier and keep the bottom of the insect panels off the ground by taking a few moments to roll up the bottom edge and attach clips to hold it in place. With a ladder and a helper, lift the top of the insect panel into place under a curtain track. Begin at one end, connecting the first nine button snaps to the curtain hangers on the beam assembly. Connect the remaining seven button snaps to curtain hangers on the adjacent wall. Now, repeat to install the three remaining insect panels. When you're done, attach the insect panels together using the zipper on each side. It zips from the top. Step 8. Note the position of a snap at the top of the insect screen against the post assembly. Fold the top of the screen over and insert a male snap at the same spot against the post. Now connect the button snap on the screen to the male snap. Add a male snap in the same manner on the other side of the post, then repeat to attach the other insect panels to the post assemblies. Step 9. If you are planning on installing your insect panels on your gazebo permanently, it's a good idea to secure them on the top and bottom. Hold the insect panel against the bottom of a post and insert a pan screw into the edge of the fabric. Make sure it's in the center of the post. Repeat to install another pan screw on the other side of the post. Then, install pan screws at the top of the post in this location beside each button snap. Now repeat all of the steps to secure the insect panels to all four posts.